Hi everyone, this is Detesco from Ablog Zone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on Westhost. Uh, Westhost is a new web hosting uh, company that recently has been voted one of the most reliable web hosting uh, uh, companies on the web. And actually, uh, what I will be showing you today is um, basically also new to me. This is the first time that I'm going to actually install WordPress uh, site on on web host on west host so yeah we'll be doing this uh for the first time and uh, i hope this uh, goes out well well anyway as soon as you log in uh, your west host account this is uh, the screen you're going to be looking at it's actually neat uh, very compelling very nice uh, clean it's got a flower and everything i'm not sure if the next time i log in it's going to be different but uh, for now that's that's it so Okay, so once we log in, uh, I'm assuming we're going to go to the C panel. So let's go ahead and click that. Okay, uh, it's supposed to allow pop ups here, so let's do this again. Okay, alright, so let's click the uh, C panel. There we go. Okay, so the uh, cPanel is pretty much standard. As you can see, uh, it's giving me the welcome new user. It's the first time I'm doing this. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click on no, I'm fine because I'm quite familiar already with cPanels. They're basically all the same. So uh, what I'm going to do is install a WordPress uh, site on, on, on this new domain that uh, I'm currently installing it, which is chicviews.com. So Let's go ahead and find, there should be uh, a one-click installer here, there you go, so, so script, WordPress, so let's click on that, okay, so I'm guessing we just press install here. This protocol that will be HTTP. That's the domain in directory. Um, let's call this uh, use. Okay. Back to base name. That's okay. We're not gonna worry about that. The table prefix. We'll just leave that alone. Um, the site settings. We can actually change that now if you want. But you can also change that on a later stage. Let's just go ahead and change that to shake uh, okay. enable multi-site that's actually cool if you want to install the multi-site version of WordPress mm -hmm. you can do it right here okay I'll just for now leave this the admin users admin and the password I will leave it the way it is um, because just just for the sake of this tutorial um, my recommendation though is you should never 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 use uh, admin as your admin username uh, that's kind of like uh, inviting um, hackers to to come through your way very easily so what you might want to do is after installing uh, WordPress, you, you want to go ahead and change the admin to a more uh, suitable uh, username, uh, preferably a little bit more complicated, and so with the uh, password. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and install this. Well, that was that was really really fast. I mean, uh, I probably spent more time talking than. <laughs> so there you go. It appears it's already done. So let's just go ahead and click on this uh, admin area for WordPress to see, make sure it's uh, good to go. Yeah. So. Well, that's it. It's installed uh, nice and clean. Let's see how the, it looks on the home page. There you go.
you got your WordPress installed. I mean, that was really, really fast. Uh, and um, taking all this uh, familiarity that I also didn't have on the C panel, which uh, I actually like. Uh, if you if you look at it, it's it's, it's got a nice uh, user interface. And click back on home here so you can see uh, how it looks like. It's it's pretty cool. Uh, I really uh, am happy that I actually. Uh, decided to 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 give Westos uh, a little bit of a test drive and as I said I have a client who's really very very happy with it he was using a different hosting company before and uh, since I manage his site I noticed considerably the uh, the speed uh, it's really fast it's a expect a spectacular server and um, I highly recommend you trying it too okay so thanks for watching bye bye